All right, guys, here we are coming up to the new year. Of course, new year will be here in three days. So we'll be starting 2022. But to top it all off here at the end of the year, we're going to do a top 10 products of 2021 in English. So we're going to go through and check these out. We're going to go. This is my personal opinion list. I just want to share it to you for what we're looking at for these products. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe down below. As always, hit that notify. And once again, smash that like button, guys. We can get 40. It'll help us out a ton. It really helps us move forward. And thank you guys for the subscriptions. We're already up to 575. If you missed it, the current winner of the celebrations, the road to 500, the celebrations ETB still behind me, is Professor Oak. So now that I got 500, I can actually tag him in this video and I will do so. So if you could, please contact me so that I can get you out your ETB as soon as possible. Now, we're going to go through the top 10, and I put together this top 10, and you're seeing more and more of these videos come out, and it's good. It's good reference to see what different people are seeing for products that they're considering top 10. And sometimes if you're seeing consistent products, it might give you a good direction on where to go. So that's why I, you know, you kind of sit there and think it gets old to see top 10s. But it's definitely good to get that reference point for yourself to make decisions on how you want to proceed and what kind of products that you should probably be looking at or have a good idea to look at. So I'm going to start this off, of course, at number 10. Number 10 is going to be the D21 Pokeball. Now, this is new. I know it just has not been out very long. But the reason that I picked this is because of the two packs that are inside of that Pokeball. You have a Vivid Voltage, and they threw in on the D21s the Cosmic Eclipse booster pack. Now, that booster pack alone is going for $10.50 on top of a $5, 4 to $5 Vivid Voltage pack. So you've already started out with about $15 in value inside of that tin with just purchasing it for the retail price of $12.99. So what we're seeing is currently with this product is it is already running on the secondary market about $20 to $25, which is not surprising with that Cosmic Eclipse pack on it. Um, this may be one of the few times that we can snag some Cosmic Eclipse here and put that in your arsenal if you want to break it open and get the Cosmic Eclipse pack out for later or keep it sealed. The tin itself may, get, may accelerate, but it gives you a couple options with that pack inside of it. Overall, I think this tin will continue to do extremely well with the pack selection and definitely something that, you know, it looks good on your shelf also. So it's a display piece if you just want to put them out to show it off. Next thing I'm going to go into is number nine. Nine is going to be the Shining Fates Pikachu V-Box. This box continues to really, I really like this product, even since Shining Fates was released. This product here is a standalone product, Pikachu driving it, and anytime Pikachu's involved, you can pretty much know that that product will do well over time. It's a flashy box, it looks good in a collection, it stands out and it's sealed, but then you also get that nice Pikachu V and Jumbo card inside of it with the four packs of Shining Fates, which of course gets you another run at the Shining Charizard. So once again, guys, this is a good box. You can still sometimes catch them at Walmart during this reprint section here. There was a release of them, a massive release of them. Again, I don't I don't know if they were reprints or just held in distributors. Here we didn't have a huge release. We had about 10 of them show up on the shelf, and they ran about $19.99. If you can still find them in the stores, they still run $19.99. The secondary market on these is still running about $30 to $35 for sales on it. So... Once again, one of those products that you could pick up at the store and potentially make a little bit extra or wait it out and definitely have the option to sell them here in the future for probably a little bit more of an income on them. Next one I'm going to go into is number eight. Number eight is the Evolving Skies exclusive ETB from Pokemon Center. Now this box was released with Evolving Skies. Of course, Evolving Skies is one of the out of sets of the Sword and Shield era, along with the number one set of 2021. This set is going to continue to perform with all the evolutions, bringing in Rayquaza and the dragons back into the play. This, this ETB will do extremely well for you in the future. That's why I chose this one to make sure to make the list. 
Right now you can find these on eBay and sometimes you can get them on TCG Player. Um, eBay is running between 75 and 110 depending on which box you get. Um, there also there are some package deals where you can get both of them for around $160. So there's those options out there for you guys to check that out and get that ETB, exclusive ETB in your collection. Um, check it out. Going to hold the test of time. Going to be a great centerpiece on your shelf. They look good. Once again, ETBs have the ability to stand in a collection and look good. That's the major thing when we look at a lot of these products is when you go to sell them in the future, collectors are going to want to have these because they do look good. Now we're going to move on to number seven. Number seven, I put the Shining Fates mini tins. Now these tins, of course, were released on the release date. And then there seems to be a smaller reprint there in about June where they released more of them. Once again, don't know if it's a reprint or if they just release more tins. Typically, these tins are a one to two shot deal. They don't usually make it out several times. And right now, these tins are running between 1950 and 1975 on the secondary market. That's pretty good considering these tins right out of the gate. If you buy them at Walmart are $8.99. So they're doing extremely well on increasing in value already. Once again, the artwork is good. It looks clean. They're really really nice looking product for a collection if you're trying to just hold sealed product and they do extremely well in the future most mini these mini tins do so definitely check those out um if you can find them in a store or in a lgs setting for around that 8.99 to 10 dollars definitely a steal of a buy and i would try and get on that now we're going to move on to number six number six is going to be the reshiram charizard gx box that was a Walmart exclusive released here in the beginning of November. These boxes were for sale for $59.99, so $60. Came with 10 packs, that gold Reshram Charizard GX card, and the jumbo Reshram Charizard GX box. This box is already doing extremely well, and it will continue to do so. This card looks flashy. It's great on your shelf. If you get this card graded, it's going to look fantastic. It's going to stand out to people. So definitely a card that a collector is going to want in their set or on their shelf. But overall, this set will continue to do extremely well just because of the fact that it was an exclusive on top of it. Right now in the secondary market, we're seeing this go for about $70 to $95 on sales between TCG Player and eBay. So definitely another product to definitely watch, see where it goes. Um, if you can find them at your local Walmart, definitely not a bad buy at that $60 range. So definitely look at that if you can find it. The number five. Number five spot is going to be the only booster box that I have on this list today. And this is the Evolving Skies booster box. Once again, Evolving Skies, one of the hottest sets of 2021 and the best set to date of Sword and Shield. With all the evolutions and with the dragons coming back, this set will continue to perform into the future. This is going to be a set that a lot of people even my age or even our kids ages are going to come back to and really be into it because of what was offered in it. So definitely not afraid to jump on these currently on the secondary market. They're between 105 and 120. If you can get these under 110 a box guys, these are definitely a good buy. Even with another reprint coming, we know it's coming. It isn't going to stay down very long if it does come backwards. If it does go under 100, it won't be for long. This box will continue to go back up. The only contender right now is going to see how Brilliant Stars is released. Um, those character rares or them character cards, and of course the gold cards inside of that set, will really determine how that's going to go. Number four. Number four, I have the Celebrations Exclusive ETB. Once again, guys, another exclusive ETB on our list. And there's a reason for it. Anytime you have exclusive, 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 it drives the price up. So when you look at these and you take a regular, just a standard Celebrations ETB, and you put it next to this exclusive ETB, the exclusive ETB stands out hands down on any shelf comparatively. The box is clean, the box looks flashy, it draws your attention and it's going to do that in anybody's collection. This will really drive it in the future 
is you got to remember when we're looking at resale stuff, you're not just looking at selling it to the next person who might want it to be reselling it. You're looking at who's going to want to collect these items in the long run. This box gives you that. It gives you that flashy appearance on your shelf for anybody that's trying to collect Celebrations products in the future. So definitely a good pickup. If you can still, they had a restock once again on uh, Poke Center a couple weeks ago, and they were going for $69.99. And now on the secondary market, they're anywhere between $80 and $95 on the secondary between eBay and TCG Player. So definitely check those out not going to be hurt by buying it for around that $75 range it's not going to be a bad thing $75.80 is not bad pricing I don't know if we'll be seeing these again on Pokemon Center I think that we're pretty much tapped out on these unless they try and redistribute some product back into them because they were good sellers it's the only thing with celebrations that I have cautions with is is that Pokemon Center made it pretty much clear that any of the product is up for game for reprints until they see that it's completely saturated market and nobody's purchasing it so just be cautious with that i think that i would maybe lay low on on the product if you can can't get it around that 80 dollars range i think i would just wait and see if they make another reprint and i think the market will correct a little bit and you'll be able to get them at that range number three is going to be our chilling rain exclusive etb now these surprisingly are doing not that great on ebay currently but there's one reason that I put that above all the other exclusive ETBs. And I think the biggest issue is, is that when it comes to this Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain is not a popular set. But when I look at it in the future, this is not only the first Pokemon exclusive ETB to come out on the market. This was also an error ETB. And once again, what I'm seeing is if the people that got the Era ETB and opened the two-pack blisters or sold them or got rid of them, but still have the error box, aren't doing as well. That's why on the previous show or episode when I talked about this box, keep the two-pack blister with the three cards with it. If you have that, they are running for about $80 to $90 for the box with the two-pack blister. If you don't have that and you just have the ETB, you're looking at only 40 to $50. That's how much that two pack blister changes that price. So if you don't have that two pack blister, I would try and find them now because they're going to become more scarce and harder to find, but it's definitely going to accentuate that pricing on that chilling rain exclusive ETB in the future. And also helps you push the story of what happened with it when it comes down to selling it in the future. Number two. All right, guys, we're down to number two already. And we're going to go with the Marnie, the Marnie box, the milk crate. So here you go, guys. We got the milk carton box. It was the Marnie exclusive turn or tournament play. This box retailed at $39.99. And it is currently still going for $70 to $85 with no reprint in sight. This may be an exclusive. We were hoping for a reprint because it sold so quickly when it first came out. Nobody really had an opportunity to purchase these at retail. We still don't have one in our collection, and I've definitely been trying to wait for one. I really want to try and get one, but not real willing to pay $80 yet for it. I think that there's still some wiggle room on that carton, but we'll see with time. Um, that's one of the that's why it's number two, though, is because of the exclusive of it, the the change, the new feel to it, how it's completely different than anything on the market to date. It brought a new feel to it. It brought a new packaging to it. It stands out and it looks really good on your collection. So that Marnie box is definitely the number two spot. It did fantastic. And I think it will continue to do fantastic in the future. Even if we get a reprint, that box is going to stand out and continue to perform just because a collector is going to want this in their collection, of course, to accentuate their coll their collection of Marnie products. So I'm going to go back and go to one honorable mention. It was one that I had on my list a couple times, and then I backed it off and put it back, and I it's it was between that D21 Pokeball and this, is the Shining Fates tins. Now, these were the big tins that came out on release. 
I have not seen a reprint of these since June. That was the last time that I've seen these in the store. And these tins right now are running online between $40 and $50, depending on the artwork on them. These tins, I believe, will do extremely well over time. Once again, these are uh, shiny. They came with the shiny promo inside of it of the Bolton, the Eldegoss, or the Cramorant. They are a flashy little tin that stands out well. So if someone's into a Shining Fates collection or into even a Hidden Fates and Shining Fates collection, these tins will look fantastic on their shelf and be a great opportunity in that collection, especially for sealed product or if they want to open it. So it was really between that and the D21 tins, but I think the D21 tins will perform a little bit better than these over time. But definitely keep those on your radar. Also, they're a nice little addition to your collection, a nice little addition to your investment portfolio. Now we finally got here the number one. But before I hit that number one, guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe down below. Hit that like, you know, that really helps us out. So make sure you hit that like and in the comments below, let us know if you agree with these. Are these something that you would have thought of or is there something that you really would have liked to have seen on this list more than these products? But of course, the number one, I think, is pretty much the number one on everybody's list out there is the Ultra Premium Collection Box from Celebrations. This box is going to perform extremely well as time goes on. This box has never been below $200 from the start when it was released. And there's an interesting situation with these boxes. Even, even the cards inside of them are doing well. And I think the number one reason that that is, is not very many people are opening this box. Some people do, of course. There's gold Charizards, gold Pikachus. They're trying to get them P they were trying to get them PSA tens on those because that was gonna give them the best bang for their buck. I mean, there is one population, one gold card Pikachu out there right now of a PSA ten. And that right now has been sold for seven thousand dollars on eBay. The other one, of course, is the PSA ten Charizard. One of them sold for around fifteen thousand, which I thought was a farce. But now we've seen them around four to five thousand dollars on the PSA 10 market. The cards themselves, the Charizard is still running about two hundred dollars just for the Charizard, and the Pikachu is about eighty dollars plus some two other little gold cards inside of it. Total inside that box right now, this to sell just it out is three hundred fifty dollars. So I don't think that that box is going to drop below two forty, just because of those additions inside of it. And that's just the beginning. The product is only a month and a half, two months old. And it's going to continue to push on and on and on. As time goes on, this is one of those rare premium collection boxes that I don't see any any reason in the next five to seven years that this box isn't going for $1,000. Especially when we get close to that 30th anniversary here in 2026. This box will be pushing that almost guaranteed. So once again, guys, these are the top 10. Let me know how I did. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit that notify, and of course, hit that like one more time, guys fantastic that you do that for us and just as always if you do like this content check these two videos out over here and we will see you next time here on northwoods tcg